Hi all, this is Chris Charles with Everyday VBA. In this video we're going to be doing a just a text comparison. If you've coded for any amount of time, you are going to run into this. It's going to drive you nuts. It's going to take you a couple hours to figure out what's going on. Maybe a couple hours is an exaggeration. It's going to take you some time um, when you are comparing text. And so if you compare text in VBA and you compare this right here to this right here, that is not the same. So you need some tricks in how to get around that. So we're, that's what this video is all about. So let's dig in. So I got my Visual Basic Editor open. Alt F Alt F11 gets you here. I've got a module open that is right here. Um, before you get going too far, uh, make sure you're subscribing to Everyday VBA. And if you're liking my videos, put a like on them. Appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put those in there as well. Appreciate those as well. All right, dig it. We're gonna dig in. So we're gonna call this and that, this and that. Um, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't really matter what we call it. We're just going to do a comparison. So the first thing to keep in mind is we're going to grab this information. So we're going to say if uh, range, this is going to be B15, if that is equal to range C15. And then we're going to go then and if. And if that is the case, then we're going to go range D15 equals true. I'm just going to type in true, and then we're going to put in an else statement here. And then this is going to be basically going to copy this whole thing. Copy, paste, false. Now, okay, I'm going to hit F8, and we're going to go through there. It's going to say, is this equal to this? Where you're going to go to my else because that's actually false. Those actually are not the same. And it's going to put in a false there. So how do you get around this? Well, there's two different ways to do this. Um, and I will show you both. And really the way you, you have to basically make these exactly the same. And so to do that, you can do ucase. And what ucase is going to turn everything to uppercase. And you need to do that on both of them, because if you don't do that on both of them, you're going to have an issue, new case. All right, so now let's give this a shot. Let's run this again. And I'm just hitting F8 to get through these one, one line at a time. You'll notice that those are the same because it converts those to be the same. Now, you can also do the same with L case, um, and that would be lowercase. And so let me just add in here a couple things, if it's true, so that you can see how those are changed. So we're going to go range. Uh, I'm going to basically copy this bad boy right here. And we are almost finished. I think you're getting kind of the concept here. But if we go, I'm going to make this 16 is equal to, I need to copy this little guy right here. Copy. Trying to go as fast as I can, which means that I, I am going to for sure misspell something, which will be great. And we're going to go like this. And if we go, we're going to make this 16, 16. And this will basically, I'll just show you what this does real quick. So we're going to go F, F8 to walk through this. And what this is going to do is it's just going to put what we actually did in B16, do to do, do. Where's B16? Where is that? Oh, this, is, this has got to be B15. That's funny. I'm like, what is going on? Oh my gosh! Um, well, you gotta you gotta reference everything correct. So it's true, it's true. And what it's doing is it's taking the U case of that, and it's gonna take the U case of that. And those we know intuitively that those are the same. So what's the other one? Well, the other one is L case. So I'm just going to do an L, and that's going to make total sense. Um, you have probably already got that by this point. But if we put in an L here, um, you'll notice that it changes things. And we're going to go right through here, and it's going to make those lowercase, and therefore make them equal. So that's really kind of a quick view of uh, what those, um, a quick view of uppercase and lowercase, and how you can do those comparisons in VBA. Um, or just if you want to just make stuff uppercase or lowercase, that's totally works as well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.